Though he escaped certain death, could he one day be crowned king? Well, quite the way to make your feature film debut, playing the role of Fleance in Joel Cohen's The Tragedy of Macbeth, we'd like to welcome an actor with local roots, Lucas Barker. It's great to have you. Hi, how are you doing today? Doing great. Congratulations on this incredible coup. What a part. Thank you so much. It was a really great experience. Absolutely. I mean, your first feature film, and you're working with the likes of Denzel Washington, Francis McDormand, under the directorship of Joel Cohen. So tell us, what was the, the experience like for you being on that set? Well, I was really nervous first going into it because, I mean, how can you not be with all these incredible people working with you? But, you know, as soon as I went onto that set into those pre-reads and I first met everyone for the first time, they all made me feel really welcome there. I felt like I belonged. And working with them, it was incredible to see, you know, their process was similar to mine. They were preparing for their roles or getting into character, they were rehearsing their lines. So it was it was a really great experience. I, I can only imagine. And I want to get a little bit more into the production in a moment, but why don't you tell us a bit about yourself and your start as an actor. Uh, first of all, when did you start acting? You're still very young. I started, yeah, I started acting when I was about five. So I've been acting for like 10 years now. Oh, goodness um, gracious. Yeah, so I first got my start in acting when a photographer that my mom knew um, suggested that I get into acting because I was really good on camera and I love to perform like that. So long story short, um, we got an agent and I've been acting ever since, auditioning and doing the best that I can. And you're a sophomore at Wando High. Uh, right. How do you balance an, being an acting, a working actor and a student and having friends? Right, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a balance. You gotta put stuff, you gotta, um, you know, balance it out so you're not too busy with one thing. But the, the most, the thing that I do the most is make sure that I'm on top of my school work. That's first right now because college is coming soon and I need to focus on my school. Yes, and I want to know more about that. So do you yeah. think you're going to pursue college when you graduate high school or do you think you might yes, go off sure. to Hollywood or New York or London even? <laughs> um, I definitely want to pursue college. Um, I'm thinking of going into something computer science related rather than something acting related because computer science is something that I'm also really passionate about. Well, you've got a square head on your shoulders. That's impressive. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the production. You know, watching some of those clips, Joel Cohen did a fantastic job. It's beautiful. It's very minimalist. It's almost like a theatrical yes. experience where you have just kind of a set. Tell us a little bit more about what audiences can expect in this in this movie. So. Yeah, that's right. It was kind of shot like it was a theater play. The sets were very, um, they're, yeah, like you said, they're very minimalist. They're designed to look a bit abstract and give a great contrast with all the action and actors in the scene. But when you go to see this movie, the cinematography is the number one thing that sticks out to me personally. Because this cinematography, and it's shot in black and white, so that makes it very different from a lot of things that you're going to be seeing today. Um, the cinematography is beautiful. There's these amazing shots, and you're going to go into this not expect. You're not going to know what to expect. And, and there's also a bit it. of Shakespearean dialogue too. So it's quite similar to Shakespearean English. Yeah, it was adapted. Very, it was. It follows the original play very closely, but it has its own unique taste. Right. Uh, playing Fleance, tell us more about that character. So Fleance is the son of Banquo, who is Macbeth's friend and eventual enemy. And he does get caught up in a lot of the action and tragedy of the story. And playing that character was really interesting because first of all, I've never really done any plays or Shakespearean before. So it took a while to learn that dialect and get into that character. But once I was acting, um, I really loved it because, I, first of all, I was working with some incredible actors like Denzel, Francis, and it felt it felt like a really unique role because this isn't something you do all the time. Absolutely, I can imagine there's a bit of a challenge there, but the the role it sounds fascinating. It actually. It has a lot of meaning even when the play is over because you don't know if perhaps Fleance is going to ascend the throne at some point. 
Right. The ending is very, it's a bit mysterious. So, you know, you don't know what happens next. That's right. You don't, you don't. So as far as your career goes, what's next for you? I imagine that you still have some time left before you do graduate from high school. Do you have any projects on the horizon? So I'm really, first of all, I'm really excited to see where this project goes, see what people think of it. Um, but in the future, well, I don't have any current goals lined up, but I'm really hoping to do more period pieces like this because that's a really unique, fun experience. But I'm also hoping to go into some more comedic roles. Comedy. I love comedy. Gotta love comedy. <laughs> Me too, well, yeah. Congratulations, Lucas. You've done The Low Thank Country so very much. proud. And we're excited to see the film. And where can people view it? And it's in theaters, I believe, now. And you can watch it on Apple TV pretty soon. That's right. It's in theaters right now. It came out on Christmas Day. And on January 14th, it's coming to streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. Fantastic. Lucas, congratulations. It's great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We're back in two minutes.